All right, I wanted to make this video and uh, discuss the AirPods Max that Apple just released. Uh, the AirPods Max are the $550 Apple wireless headphones with active noise cancellation and transparency mode. Uh, they have 20 hours of battery life and that is with the spatial audio and the uh, active noise cancellation turned on. And uh, there's, they're, they're not gonna be available until December 15th, but you can buy them now. And um, I just watched another video on YouTube talking about how they are wireless only with no wired override. And I wanted to uh, discuss about why that's wrong. So if you go into the Apple Store app and you uh, go through the motions to buy these AirPods Max, uh, after you add them to your cart, it'll ask you uh, if you wanna buy any accessories and it'll have the suggested accessories uh, page right there. And one of the accessories is a um, three foot, three and a half foot lightning to uh, audio jack connector. And when you click on that, and then you click on the product information, it specifically references uh, how these can be used uh, as an adapter for the AirPods Max, which means if you have other equipment that you need to use a wired connection with, they are not just limited just to wireless with your iOS devices uh, or Apple devices in general. You can use them with any headphone connection. And that is some information that I caught. And uh, I, don't, I haven't seen a lot of people talking about this yet, but I just wanted to record this quick video and get that out there. Um, the, I'm very excited for these personally because uh, Apple seems to be doing a pretty decent job with not only the user experience of their audio devices, but also the audio quality. Um, the AirPods and the AirPods Pro have not been very highly renowned for their uh, audiophile quality. However, they do have a pretty decent sound signature for what they do. Uh, and if you look at the total package, I think it's a pretty decent value for what they offer. Now the HomePods, on the other hand, um, they did not sell very well. Um, until the HomePod Mini was released recently. Um, but with the HomePods, the original HomePods, I think $350, which was the original asking price, I think that was a little steep for most people outside of the Apple ecosystem looking for a smart speaker. But in my experience, when I had the HomePods, uh, particularly two in a stereo pair, um, I've listened to music on a wide range of music, um, on Bose speakers, um, Harman Kardon speakers. You know, I haven't had access to a multi-thousand dollar set of speakers. However, for the price range of 350 for one brand new original asking price, of course, they recently reduced that price to 300 and you can find them used for 200, maybe even 170 if you're lucky. Um, a stereo pair of HomePods is the is the best music experience that I have personally ever heard uh, in person. It is absolutely mind blowing what they are able to do. Songs that I've listened to thousands of times throughout my life. Um, the the separation and the sound stage that two HomePods. Uh, can produce in a stereo pair is unbelievable because you're dealing with each HomePod having eight speakers. You have seven tweeters, uh, seven horned tweeters with a four inch high excursion woofer. So in a stereo pair, that means you're dealing with 16 speakers, 14 tweeters, of course, and um, two high excursion four inch woofers. So uh, even at the loudest volumes, at maximum volume, there's still no distortion and the sound signature remains consistent throughout the entire volume range. And uh, the obvious caveat or caveat to having two HomePods is the, uh, the price that you pay and the limitation that they offer. Obviously, unless you have an iOS or you're in the Apple ecosystem, they're not gonna be that useful for people that have a bunch of records and CDs. 
Um, but if you do most of your music, uh, if you listen to most of your music with streaming, um, uh, or you have most of your mu music digitally, um, and you are in the Apple ecosystem, I think the trade-off of it being a limited um, device uh, is outweighed by the uh, audio performance of these uh, speakers. So, um, with these AirPods Max, I'm, I'm very excited to hear what they sound like. Um, my initial uh, concern was that each ear cup only had one driver. Um, they, I'm not very knowledgeable about high-end headphones. I don't know, maybe, maybe high-end, uh, sign, uh, Sennheiser, Sennheiser, uh, headphones only have one driver, but I just think that was what was the most impressive thing about the HomePods was the, uh, the way that it was able to separate different parts of music, um, based on these, these, uh, you know, having multiple drivers inside of them. Um, I would have liked to have seen at least uh, a high-end driver and a low-end driver uh, in each ear cup. But given people's uh, impressions of the HomePod Mini and given the fact that you're gonna be wearing these directly over your ears, um, I expect that they would sound quite nice. Um, but yeah, so they are definitely not wired uh, wireless only. Um, you can get them uh, you can plug them into other devices with a headphone jack, and uh, I just wanted to clear that up. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, hope everyone has a great holiday. Uh, thank you very much. Bye bye.